My name is Mr. Meads. I've been here 31 years at Kingston Market. Our store's the oldest store in the market, 1866. It goes through the family. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's very good. It's all every roll into one, so it's nice and easy. You know, it's a lot of passing trade. It's uh, yeah, very positive. Yeah, much appreciated. I do. Although I'm from Morocco, I don't feel like I'm a foreigner. You know, I feel like I'm at home, and we got on with everybody. You know, with uh, you know, with all community. And our main thing is to be, you know, a part of Kingston and to build Kingston. It's a year since we published the last edition of Destination Kingston, so it's a really good opportunity to look back on the things we said we were going to do, to see how we've done, and to talk about the things that we're doing over the next year and the, and the period ahead. Because an ambitious programme like the One Kingston programme means the council taking the leave and being proactive and definitely encouraging great things to happen. What really animates us as a group of people is the difference that we make to people's lives. As we go through this video, we're going to show you some of the things we've done over the last year and the difference that's making. Integrating health and social care and the Kingston at Home project and how we're doing something really groundbreaking. The idea of it all is so that we can keep people at home um, and keep them as independent as possible. It could be help with personal care, preparing meals, medication, shopping, the general, you know, everyday tasks in life. We've got some significant integration in terms of services on the ground and uh, partnership with your healthcare and indeed with the CCG. They're also engaging constantly with service users and the wider public so that we can improve services and ensure that we're providing what the local community actually need. Which is uh, a very good way of being able to show that health and social care can work very, very effectively together. Love it. Love my job. Well, I've been here for 20 years, so I don't think so. <laughs> a year ago, we said if we could pull off achieving the children, it would be a really big thing. The news is we're doing it. And it's exciting because it's Kingston and Richmond working together to, to do that. It'll be completely different than anything that's been done in the rest of the country because it'll be not only a joint service. It allows us to share best practice across the two authorities. So we'll be able to reduce our costs. In our training and also to ensure staff development progression. So they're freed up to spend as much time as they can with children and families but also that they receive the right amount of support and development. It's about providing really worthwhile, exciting and vital careers for people working in children's services and work more creatively to improve the support and opportunities we're able to offer children and families in Kingston. So for me it's a win all round. Equally important is the work that we're doing with our colleagues in health and the clinical commissioning group. The NHS and the local council are coming together to actually look at joint strategic initiatives and the GPs and the council will work together to make sure that from their perspective the system's integrated as well. It should make it easier for people to improve their experience. And certainly when we were discussing this with people in the community, they were asking, why haven't we done this before? This is exactly what we want. If you look back uh, three years uh, and look at the savings we've made, uh, 30 million pounds over three years. I don't think anyone would have believed we could have achieved that, but we're still here, we're still delivering what we need to deliver. We've put ourselves into a good place because if we go back to when we started on One Council, One Kingston, we knew there was something big around the corner. So for example, in, count, in council tax, last year we had the best collection rate of any borough in London, uh, and that's really important because every pound, every additional pound that we collect there, that's a pound that we have additionally to spend on services as well. Perhaps the biggest uh, single project that we're dealing with is Better Homes. It's fair to say it's probably the largest investment in housing stock in decades. This is the first time they've had any major works in their properties, so they really appreciate the fact that the council is now 
you know, refurbishing their homes, giving them new kitchens, bathrooms. So it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, we will be investing in excess of £60 million in improving the quality of council homes in the borough. You know, I get to go out and be with people and, you know, see the satisfaction and I'm able to help them through the works and that's something that I really enjoy. So as well as being able to give something back to people, it's also giving back to me as well. This time last year, we were looking to implement our shared HR service with Richmond and Kingston. And now, one year on, we're able to reflect on what that experience has been like. Which is fantastic in terms of um, the resilience that it brings to the council, this council uh, internally and externally. I think most gratifying for me is the um, commitment and enthusiasm of the staff within the, sh the, the shared service to, to make it work, to ensure that we deliver what we can for those, for those two, um, for, for two organisations. So that means we need to continue with our focus on what matters most and use the skills that we've developed to develop the next phase of the One Kingston programme. And we need to ensure that the, um, the new One Kingston programme actually allows us to realise our ambition to be uh, a commissioning council. What really animates us is that sense of the vision of Kingston and the difference that we can make for Kingston and I think we're all determined that we hang on to that.